What we're about to demonstrate is how to tie the RP knot. Uh, it is a mono or fluorocarbon leader connection to Spectra. Start by making a loop in my leader material or a horseshoe. I pinch that together in one hand between my fingers. With the opposite hand, I'm going to come up with the Spectra in between the two strands of monofilament. Now with my opposite hand, I'm going to pinch all three lines together. Roughly six to eight inches of the Spectra is sufficient to tie the knot. Try and keep the two ends of your leader material side by side. Begin by wrapping away from you. I keep the coils as I wrap, nice and concise, side by side. I'm not seating the knot or cinching anything. They're just clean, smooth coils. Depending on the spectra, weight, and the leader material determines oftentimes how many wraps I do. I like the knot to be roughly a quarter inch long. Sometimes I make six wraps, sometimes I'll make seven or eight wraps. As I've reached the bottom, I've started to wrap the same direction back over the knot. The knot is roughly the size I want it to be. The <clears throat> coils are nice and smooth. With my opposite hand, I'm going to pinch the knot to keep it from unraveling. As I let go, I now have the main line of the spectra coming up through the horseshoe, wrapping away from me. I'm going to bring the tag end of the spectra down, thus creating a square knot image where both these spectra lines come up and go opposite directions over the leader material. Now, I'm going to switch and hold the knot in the opposite hand. I am going to hold the tag end and main line of the spectra in the same hand, leaving the loop free. And now with my opposite hand, I can pull the leader material and slide the knot right to the end of the barrel. Now the knot is not tight yet, it's just in shape and it's where it needs to be. This eliminates any stretch or damage to the leader material, no dragging on the line. As we go to seat the knot, I'm going to grab both ends of the leader material. I'm going to only hold the main line of the spectra. We're going to let the tag end remain free. In order to get that knot to seat correctly, I like to wrap the spectra around something, preferably something with a rubber texture. It helps to grip the spectra and not damage it. I'm going to pull that knot until it seats and you see everything get nice and tight. When we go to clean the tag ends, I leave a short tail of the spectra, allowing for a slight pull or slip in the knot in case of a long fight. And I cut that tag end nice and close of the monofilament or fluorocarbon. This allows for smooth transfer of the knot through the guides, minimal hang up, and that's the RP knot.